Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through multi-location setup in Retail Man. Firstly we need to go to Maintenance and then click on System Setup. Web link. So the first thing we need to do is insert the FTP server name, FTP username and FTP password and choose active for transfer mode. Then we choose test FTP to make sure that it works and the FTP server connection success message should appear. And now we know that the FTP server setup is correct. Next we click on locations. So from here we set up the head office and the FTP server location so please be aware that you have to set up the FTP system on only one side and the head office is going to be that server and each location is going to be the main system that runs the retail man system. So here we're going to set up the head office. We need to check the head office location. Um, mine is AU and then we select head office. Um, here you have remote location and head office. We choose head office. Next we need to do the sync times. So here for the transaction sync timer, the value should be between 10 and 30 seconds. Um, but for this one, we have set it up for 15 seconds. So any sale that's been done will be uploaded within 15 seconds. This time can be as short as 10, but can be a bit longer. So yeah, anywhere between 10 and 30 seconds is good. The data file sync timer, this one takes quite a bit of time. Make sure the minimum time is about half an hour, which is 1800 seconds or 1800 seconds, or preferably about an hour, which is 3600 seconds or 3600 seconds. Right, so here we want to have stock file, stock quantity file, stock history file, clients file, suppliers file, staff file, company file, quick menu file, um, serious file, some products have serial numbers and others don't so um, if you would like you can tick this one but for me i'm just going to leave this unticked packages file equivalent part number file and stock groups file for stock group files this can be done just after the installation um, and then it can be unticked here one step stock transfer you can tick that if you'd like but uh, for this i'm going to untick it we click on save. So this means that the head office has been set up to do an automatic transfer. The next step is to run Arman Sync automatically. So once you run it, it stays in the bottom right hand corner where the other icons are in Windows and uh, it will run in the background every time. So each location, again, we have to go back into setup and to web link and we will have to do the same setup as the head office. And again, test FTP. But for the location, we will choose, let's say, for example, AU2 and remote location. Um, and again, you'll do the same numbers as you did for the head office. And once you've done that, you can start running the R man sync and everything should be syncing from there on. And you should also make sure that you're running the RMAN sync automatically. So what you need to do is put the RMAN sync into the starter folder. So once you've closed the system or shut down the system, next time you start it up, it'll start automatically. So you don't even have to think about it. Once it starts, it should keep going as long as the system is going. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it's been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.